Hey guys, so I know it's been a while since I've made a new video, but that is due to my really hectic schedule in high school and sports and all that nice stuff. So now that I'm in winter break, hopefully I can upload more videos and better videos. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to make a, a really glossy text effect using Photoshop CS6. And this also works in CS5 or CS4. And before we begin this tutorial, you will need to download three items. One, a text, and two, background images. And all of those will be in the description below. So as opening up Photoshop, you want to go to File, New. You want the dimensions at 700 by 720 pixels. And you can title it as whatever you want. Click OK. And I'm going to change the zoom to 100%. That is my preference. You guys can have that whatever you like. And we will be opening up our first image downloaded. And that is the desaturated wooden planks. So you want to just drag the image to Photoshop. And you want to size it so it fits the whole screen. Okay, and you want to just click check. And you want to, let's, we'll create our text right now. So I'm going to click on the T and the text we'll be using is called lobster and that is one of the things that we will need to download. And you can have the size at whatever font, uh, the size at whatever you want. And I'm going to name it as Mark because that is my name. And you just want to center the text. After that what you want to do is right click on the text and go to blending options. We will start with drop shadow. So for drop shadow, you want the blend mode at normal, the opacity at 100%, the angle at 90 degrees, and for distance, you want it at 10 pixels, the spread at 30%, and the size at 25 pixels. For outer glow, what we will need, you will also want to change the blend mode to normal, the opacity to 50%, and we, for the color we'll be using a dark blue and that the number for this is 003 F66 and just click OK for the technique we leave it at softer we just need to change the, the size to 12 pixels and for quality just change the range to 30 percent after that you want to go to bevel and emboss for the style you want it at outer bevel you want to leave the technique as smooth. The depth you want it at 1000%. The size at 6 pixels. And for angle, you want to change the altitude to 0 degrees. 0, yeah. For gloss contour, we will be changing it to custom. And for this, you want a sort of little hill right here in the beginning. A little taller. And then you want an even bigger hill. And you just can look, doesn't have to look exactly like, but just a sort of similar. Ooh, what happened there? It's a sort of similar technique. And then on the last one, you also want like a little mini half hill. And that is how you want it to look. And we'll make it a little curve right here. All right, click OK. And then after that, you want to change the highlight and shadow mode both to 100 to normal and change the opacity to 100% for both. For color overlay, you want to change the blend mode to color burn. The color you want it at a light blue color and the number for this is B7EAFF and click OK. And then for gradient overlay, we will need to change the blend mode to overlay the gradient color we want to have three colors so you want to add another one near them in the middle so the location is 50 percent for the first color we will need 19283c the second color is 9dc4cc and the third color is the same as the first color 
which is again 19283C. And just click OK. And that is all, and click OK again, and that is all for gradient overlay. So now we want to bring in our third image that we downloaded. And again, you want to drag it to Photoshop. You just want it so it kind of doesn't have to fit the whole screen, but it is big enough. Just want to click the check. For here, we want to right click on the background layer and go to Rasterize Layer. Then we want to go to Image, Adjustments, Desaturate. After that, you want to go to Filter, Distort, and Spherize. And you want to set them out to 100% and just leave it there. Now we want to go again to Filter, Blur, and then Radial Blur. And you want to set them out to 15 and just click OK. After we're done with that, you want to go to Edit define pattern and you want to name it at whatever pattern at whatever you want I'm just gonna leave it as pattern 4 and click OK and on the left of the background layer you want to click on the eye so it is not shown you want to right click on the text layer again and go to blending options and you want to go to pattern overlay and the pattern we'll be using is a pattern we just created and it will be at the bottom of the images and just click on that and you want to change the opacity to 75 percent and you just want to scale it at 53 percent so it gives the text a sort of cool look and after that you want to go to you want to go to stroke you want to position at the center the blend mode at normal and for the fill type we will have it as gradient and we will need a lot of colors for this one we will need nine so you want to change the you want to change the location of the first one to around eight you want to add another one a little distance apart from the first one and add another one closer to it then again you want to make more of a distance and then another like sort of same distance and then have it another one right next to it and then again you want to have a distance and have two right next to each other so those are all the colors that we will be adding in so for the first one you want the number at 0 0 3 B 4 C Just click OK the second color we need is a lighter color and that is 2 B 78A0. Click OK. The third color we will need is a white, and that is EAF6FF. Click OK. The next color we need is 4098 California or CA. Click OK. Then this color we will be using the same as the first color we used which is 003B4C and then the next one is 2B78 2B78A0 for this color we want it at the white and that is EAF6FF click OK and then this color will be 2B78AO so many of these colors are similar oh what happened to this one this one was 003B4C. Whoa, 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 whoa. Sorry for that. Uh, 
Oh, there you go. And the last color we will need is again 0003B4C. And click OK. So we used a lot of colors in that one. And you want to click OK. And you want to change the angle to 90 degrees, the style to reflected. And you want to leave the scale at 100%. And that is the tutorial. I hope you guys really enjoyed this tutorial and hopefully I will be able to upload many more videos and better quality videos. And if you have any requests or any kind of ideas for videos, please leave them in the comments below or you can email me or tweet me or anything you would like. So thanks again for watching and have a great day.